So I have two parts to try to help me along with this. So I'm going to take the rectangle tool. It has uh, no fill. I'm just going to hit the reset for this to fill it. With this section, I'm just going to choose eye for eyedropper and grab that red color. I'm going to double click on it. It brings it up into the color picker and lets me choose just a brighter, brighter red. Okay. And now for this part, I'm going to take the stroke off. So now I don't have that interference there. So I draw this rectangular shape for the top, this one right here. Go Effect 3D Extrude. This extrusion window comes open once I click on Preview. And this is the section I can put in the number or drag this part across until I get a close enough approximation to that piece. So I'm going to make it, just to remember it easy, 200 uh, pixels across there. See what happens here. And now I have this front view. So I will take a section, and it's about the same height. So I'll take that section and a rectangle in the middle of it. I'll change that color of the uh, rectangle there. This part, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and select the both of them. Use the Align tool. And the Pathfinder is going to allow me to cut this through. So if I don't have it open, I'll just click on Pathfinder. The second item subtracts it. So now I have this piece, no stroke. Effect 3D Extrude. And here's the extrusion window. So now I hit Preview, and I see this going back. So now it has to go back about twice that distance. But that's the front view. I didn't actually measure that in pixels, but you could. But since we're just kind of visually putting this together, I can see this coming across. Now the only trick apart is I have to rotate one of these. I'm just going to take this one. Here's the uh, view. Front, left. So there it is going to the left angle for this part. So now I have that section that I can see. And now it might be a little bit too large, so I'll lower it down a little bit. Click OK. <clears throat> take this one, bring it to the front. And now I have that section. So the only trouble I have to look at is trying to match these up. So when I go into the appearance panel, I take the distance from here to here and ex extrude that, or just take this section and you can grab it from this side panel to try to extrude it a little bit bigger. Okay, so with this appearance, I can go into this section. Here's 3D Extrude. Keep it on preview. Here's the depth of it going from this direction. Here's this angle. Okay, so if I Click in here and do one that's going to be to the right. There it is, the one that matches this up better. So it's 40, 64. Let's see what happens. And I can just use the arrow key to move it over and up. So if, if any part that's off of this, I can adjust that piece to fit. So that's the only tricky way to try to adjust this. So if I want to rotate this, I have to make sure that I rotate at the same angle for both of them. And they're not actually on angles. One's on an extrusion and one is the angle for that. So then just group these two together, and now you can at least move them across the page, scale them if you need to, and position them there. 